Breaking news. And before we get to sports, we do have some breaking news. At around 8.21 tonight, a DPS trooper was involved in a vehicle pursuit in Falfurias. Once the pursuit concluded, the driver shot the trooper and a gunfire was returned, killing the suspect. Teachers guard are telling us we can pray. And in Uvalde, while investigators are looking into the 18-year-old gunman's background for a motive, this morning we're honoring the victims. Still just as painful to watch as when that day happened. Well, the Texas House report on the Uvalde shooting said illegal immigration played a part in the police response. The report said frequent bailouts, car chases with police and illegal migrants who abandoned their cars desensitized police and their community. President of the National Border Council, Brandon Judd, said that we are not prepared to have another influx of migrants crossing over to the border as no policies have been put in place since the migrant situation in Del Rio. And Abbott also says that Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorca, Homeland Security rather Alejandro Mayorcas, is causing complete chaos at the border and is calling for his immediate resignation. And people across the valley have a lot to say about today's ruling. CBS 4's Adam Cardona joins us live right now with that reaction. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to evolve, guidelines to keep you safe and healthy are ever-changing. And that includes guidance for these masks. This unprecedented blistering heat is continuing to cause big problems across Europe. Wildfires are burning in Greece and water supply is short. It's the same over in Italy where some towns have been evacuated due to wildfires with nine cities on a heat wave alert. Yeah. So much to say. I'm so excited about the Godfather. Oh, you have to say it in Italian though. Vuoi che lo dico in italiano? Allora we're gonna have Pauline off to the side and she's gonna be doing that while we rewatch the movie. There are a lot of things that we need to watch out for, not only at home with space heaters, yeah. but check this out. Cameron County deputies heard a meowing near a car while passing by and they were able to safely rescue this cat in an oh. engine compartment. But this is a reminder for all oh. of you to check the hood of your car. Of finding faith in the fallout that destroyed a town. We're now entering almost day seven of the aftermath of the deadly tornadoes that tore through the Midwest. The number of people missing is down from 16 to 122 over in western Kentucky, but the death toll has risen to 88 people as thousands continue to pick up the pieces. Now, this is something that has been hitting home for me very much so yeah. in this past week. I called Western Kentucky home for the past three years, right before moving to the Valley. And in my time there, I met some absolutely incredible people who are the true definition of Southern hospitality. Stephanie and Terry Bradley are no different. I met them on a freezing morning while reporting out in the field on a plane crash in Mayfield this past February. They were kind enough to stop by and give me some hot chocolate. And now they're sending that same generosity, serving hot meals and volunteering their time to families who have now lost everything. Here is their message of hope. The damage started literally two miles up the street from our house. You, you just can't imagine until you actually physically drive and you get out of your car and you're standing in the middle of the town and there's almost nothing. You just can't imagine that the things you see on TV, it's not the same until you actually physically see it. It's natural for people to respond and say, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good, but are you guys actually doing okay right now? You know, this is a reality that we never expected to actually witness firsthand. Um, but, but this is kindness on display that you will absolutely never forget for the rest of your life. So I know for a lot of people in Western Kentucky, faith is a huge um, factor in their life. You were just about a mile, two miles away from some of the worst damage. Do you think that um, God played a role in that? Do you think that he spared you guys and now you guys are able to help others? Yes, and one thing, I'll, I'll let my husband elaborate, but one thing that immediately I said was, we don't want to question God. We don't understand, but, but we don't want to question. There are so many churches downtown, Mayfield alone, that were destroyed. You know, we're, we're Christian people, and, and yes, we're ready for Christmas. And, but you know, it's funny, after all this going on, I never stopped to a moment to think during that moment, oh my gosh, it's Christmas. These people have lost their houses. They lost their, their, their family members. But you know what? For those kids, Christmas is still important. 
you know, buildings can be replaced and they will be, and we'll, we'll come out of this and be resilient. Um, but our, our family and friends that are still here uh, are what make a community important. Sending some big hugs to all my friends over in Western Kentucky. We're all thinking about you, and you can do your part to help victims affected by those tornadoes. There are multiple donation drives going on right now to help those families get the essentials they need and even gifts for this holiday season. Some are listed right there up on your screen, and we also have a full list up on valleycentral.com. From a young age, Beatriz Gonzalez knew she was going to be a singer. Se me acabó la fuerza. De mi mano izquierda. Sharing her talent with the world, all behind a microphone. Ever since I pretty much started talking at three years old or so, um, I was just so inclined into music and singing. I wanted to sing. I love to sing. I'm gonna be a singer. You know, I'm gonna make it. Lyrics she is proud to sing and rhythms she has in her blood. Her family is from Reynosa and she's a first generation American now representing the valley. A lot of people think I'm from like San Antonio or California or like, you know, I'm like, no, I'm from the valley, you know? <laughs> I'm from here, little South Texas, and I love it, I love it. Lo que se ha tenido. I wanna make my family proud, you know what I mean? I wanna also let people know that it is possible anything's possible you just gotta get to it you know gotta work hard and you can't be complaining <laughs> you know she's been working hard for years now signing record labels and making albums of her own i have accomplished a lot you know um and i i can't believe it but it's somehow i just keep looking forward so it's like a never-ending motivation. Her fans <laughs> are a part of that motivation. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's an honor for me, you know, and just to, just to see that the people accept me for who I am and where I'm from, no matter where I'm from, it's a beautiful thing. It's so fulfilling. Believe, trust, and have faith. You have a dream, you make it happen. In McAllen, I'm Pauline Fitzgerald.